wandering orange alligator in South Florida enjoyed quite a bit of popularity when a photo of the creature went viral. Six hours later, the gator became a spokesman for Minute Maid Orange Juice. <laughs> Brazil is suffering from its worst floods in decades. The damage is worse because vegetation in the area is cut so close to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Katie Couric suggested that Americans would understand Muslims better if there were a Muslim Cosby show. And the TV networks are taking their advice. I'd like to know more about Muslims. I think I'll watch Muslim Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> click, click. Hey, Dad, I'm gonna go to school. Can I go with him? <laughs> Here to present our next Golden Globe is the star of Wall Street 2, Michael Douglas and an actress who's young enough to be his daughter in real life, but would be cast to play his wife in a movie, <laughs> Reese Witherspoon. I'd just like to take this opportunity, Michael, to say how truly blessed we feel to have you here with us today. Before your interviews with People Magazine, Carson Daly, ESPN Zone 2, 92.3 FM's The Morning Zoo, and Telemundo's Muy Buenos Dias. <laughs> Cancer was a faceless disease, the people knew very little about it. <laughs> Thank you, Reese. <laughs> somebody in a movie I wasn't in, oh hell, let's just go do some lines with my son. <laughs> Your regularly scheduled program, Sarah Palin's Alaska, has been canceled. This has nothing to do with her connection to the Gifford shooting. No, we did it because who wants to see Palin in just one of TLC's shows? Why not see her in all of them? <laughs> You've seen her conquer a big grizzly. Why not see her conquer her problem with hoarding? Sarah Palin already knows how to ice fish. What she didn't know was that she was pregnant. <laughs> and who wants to see her with her family when you could see her? With 20 other kids when the Duggar family decides to adopt Sarah Palin. <laughs> She'll be in every one of our shows. Shows like Police Women of Dallas, Sister Wives, and LA Inc. <laughs> Tune to TLC and satisfy your Palin addiction. Click, click. Your Highness. Darling. A world war is looming. <laughs> <laughs> I do love you. In spite of your speech impediment. <laughs> In these uncertain times, the people need a clear, strong voice. Not just your people, the people who live in the world. <laughs> <laughs> you see, darling, I've hired someone. Someone who's an expert. Someone who is an expert in communication. Somebody <laughs> call for Click, click. To present our next Golden Globe, the next hot ingenue, and a distinguished British actor who does a lot of theater. <laughs> the most important job in the history of mankind is acting. <laughs> themselves. <laughs> the following nominees for best acting in a reality TV series are... Are you going to speak, my dear? Very well. <laughs> Kathy Griffin, my life on the D-list. 
<laughs> Christy Alley, fat actress. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Sheen, two and a half men. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Welcome back to Eyewitness News. You're gonna love this next story. It's about a viral video that's already gotten over three million hits. That's right. Yeah, it's about a homeless man from upstate New York who panhandles, and he carries a sign that says, heavy heart, light in the feet. Yeah, says he got that God-given gift of the twinkle toes. <laughs> Let's take a look. <laughs> that man's name is Fred Williams, and he joins us exclusively. Morning, Fred. How are you? <laughs> uh, well, I'm sober. <laughs> I just want to see you dance. <laughs> yeah, do a little jig for us, can you? No. Okay. Not now, Fred, I'm talking. Oh, <laughs> How does it feel to go from being completely starving, beat up, run down, wishing you were dead, hopeless, begging in the streets, to an overnight sensation? <laughs> well, you can. It feels fantastic. I'm on such a high right now. I know. I mean, how could you not? So, Fred, tell me. Your career was derailed by drugs and alcohol abuse. That's why I'm still winning. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, Fred. This station believes that people like you have real talent. So let's join the newest member of our team with weather. It's Lispy Linda. Sunshine today and tomorrow in the south side of Southern California. Travel can expect sleet and maybe snow. That's it. And we're back. And we're back. Now, crazy eyed, one eyed Joe with sport. And then, then, this week we got LeBron James and vengeful tweets. Sacramento was controversial. Stadium thinking Dwight Howard never knows what he's got. I got one eye and one arm in my patch. Won't stay in Parker. He is just a boy. A teenager can't cry. Fred is 
just a little hung up right now. He got tangled in his web. So it's gonna be just a few minutes. Next, $64 million dance. Okay, but I'm gonna stick you up there. Let's do this. He seems to have been untangled. We are going to resume the show. Eight! His name is Peter Parker! Uh, he is just a boy! He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> regrets his demise and plans to make a new stunt inspired by Fred Williams. But looking up, opportunity knocks for Tom Krause, our new Spider-Man. Oh no! For Second City this week, I'm George Kelly Otis. Good night. Yeah!